Happiness is yours, let's claim it On Calvary, Jesus paid it Don't be ashamed to stand up and say it Jesus, pick a smile and you can't contain it Everything would be alright If traumas won't last all night Smile and make your face look like Jesus make all the heavy load light Everything would be alright If traumas won't last all night Smile and make your face look like Jesus make all the heavy load light Morning to you, Glow 93.9 FM, the morning drive with Delton on a beautiful Wednesday. I almost forgot what day it is. Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Um, welcome to um, session, which session is this? Session four? Is it four? Three? Session three? Session four of the that more that good. I always forget the show. That good morning tea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That good morning tea um, brought to you by uh, Lipton. <laughs> and as you can see in the corner over here, uh, for those who have, um, wherever it is, over here, uh, he had a little frog there. We got Kermit, brought to you by Kermit. <laughs> brought to you by Kermit. Kermit and the tea. Uh, <laughs> how are y'all this morning? It's a beautiful day on the outside. Uh, it's a good day to be alive. It's a great day to be alive, if you ask me. I don't know how it feels to be dead. Um, but I'm pretty sure, like right now, this whole alive thing, this, this is working. This is definitely working for me. Um, so, <laughs> say good morning to my co host of that morning. Good morning, T, the one and only, the uncomparable. Oh, the, the, I love it. Um, let's go, let's go. You wanna, you, you wanna unrun, keep going. Um, yeah, I'll go say something. You, you started, you made it too hard. I, I ran out. I ran out, yeah. <laughs> With an A or something. Yeah, I should, I should go off a less alliteration. I, I, yeah, yeah. I messed up. Anyway, good morning, <laughs> darlings. How are you doing? I forget that's the intro. That's right. <laughs> I'm practicing. And last time I said it, y'all didn't give me any feedback. So I assumed that uh, you approved yeah, of I, my greeting. I forgot about it. And here <laughs> we are. I you have a whole, a whole green situation going good. on. Um, how are you this morning, Vera? Are, are you good? You get your tea? I'm, I'm good. I'm doing very well. Um, I feel good about myself today because... I was awake early yeah. and you just feel a little better when you wake up early and you can be productive. And I'm, I know the good um, Reverend Lawrence Rowe would approve. Because <laughs> he can't be. Because he say it can't, it can't waitress, be a waitress the woman. The waitress woman no. can't be still sleeping at eight o'clock. All right. You All say right. eight o'clock and you're still in your 90s? Yes, you're 90. So if you're still in your 90s <laughs> at 10, 10. 
as we do every day, we want to start our show off with this right here. Thoughts, views, and comments expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production of Glory 93.9 FM. That is correct. Uh, <laughs> I'm starting to take that personally. I'm not, I don't even know. <laughs> like before, before a viewer gets started, just want to play that. You understand? Because I feel like on the one hand, I'm being told I'm essential and I'm a member of staff here at Glory. Yeah. Then on the other hand, my views and thoughts are not that of those. Yeah, not that of just the management, staff, and no. production. Not necessarily. No. I have to accept that. Because I mean, the tea gets good at times. It does get very hot. So what's in the, what's in the news? What's in the news and the views this morning? As, what's as in the news and the we've views? We've had what, a few days off. We've had uh, the whole weekend going by. Um, our first official like lockdown weekend happened last week. Um, coronavirus, case, coronavirus cases seem to still go on, be on the rise. Right. Um, even with the lockdowns. And now, yesterday... Y'all tried to come for the prime minister with the COVID. I and the mean, 19. <laughs> you wanted to, di- you wanted, y'all wanted y'all, to do a straight delivery <laughs> y'all to his tried place to, of work. Y'all tried to come for the prime minister now. Y'all came for the deputy prime minister, and he's back on quarantine as well. Yeah, no, no, they, they, came, they came for the they came for the DPM a few weeks ago, and he had to self quarantine. I, I missed that. I yeah, missed that completely. Yeah, I think one of, one of his one of his um his security details was positive uh, and so he had to see self-quarantine and now y'all came for the prime minister himself the prime minister <laughs> himself praise i was like nah keep we can do we can go we can go for more <laughs> and you know what things like that it just makes you very like it just makes you very aware of the fact that we've been kept like you up in and down in in and an outing and you you're still well you're we're, still well we're being essential so we're we are. being essential um, and we're still well and we're grateful. It's uh, the lockdown situation. Um, I am I am sort of confused about it as it relates to um, the yes, yeah, say the the management of it and like who is enforcing these rules and oh. how good are these rules going on um, being enforced and how uh, how can you actually verify to say that you know what this today. I go on for I actually go in the shop, and I'm not just on the street gallivanting. I mean, but the thing is, why you go on? Why does it have to be enforced? Just abide. But are we abiding? Is the question. no, but we're not. But why can't we? <laughs> why don't we just abide? I just mean, abide. No, this, you know. I, I went. Mean, I had. I had to make a. Uh, I had to go on the road yesterday, for for recording purposes, as my essential badge grants me. And everybody's uh, got a reason they are essential. But I, I have ID though. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I have essential. Which, anyway, and let's I not went, talk about how this ID was made and where it was made. And, and I how went, official this ID really is. No, I mean, I'm official because we are a radio station. And so, so now. It's true, you're a real radio yeah, station. Yeah, so, I, so my, my purpose is actually legit. And so, but on the streets, the streets were busy. And I mean. So much to the extent there one. was a officer, like, directing traffic. Wow. <laughs> not necessarily stopping anybody. That or is powerful. Stopping anybody Say, or asking them where they go it. But there was an officer in the middle of the street directing traffic, and there was traffic to direct. I think maybe there's something we're missing. I think maybe there's something we're missing about this lockdown. I think maybe it was never the intention of the competent authority to have us locked down like we were before. They're calling it a lockdown, and we feel like the roads are busy because we're supposed to be inside. But I guess the roads are less busy than they would have been if we weren't on quote unquote lockdown. So maybe we maybe this was the plan all along. It's less busy on Tuesday and Thursday. Maybe that was the plan all along. For Tuesday and Thursday less be quiet. traffic. On Tuesday and Thursday. Just I don't know. Because Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we be out there. We out in these streets. I feel like maybe forty percent, thirty percent, if thirty percent of the people who would have gone out on a Monday, be it not lockdown, decided, you know what, it's lockdown, I can stay home this Monday. The streets still busy, but they're less busy. They're busy, but they're not as busy as they would have been if we were in full blown everything open mode. So maybe that was always the plan. So lockdown is for maybe this isn't a real lockdown, but they didn't want to call it something crowd, else. Crowd control. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, we would hate. To, we would hate to be told we were being crowd controlled. Uh-uh. Yeah, but you can't say that. Yeah, man. Like so, I guess. I guess so. It's, it is limiting. Interactions, as yeah, because so you think twice about just going by your friend. Yeah, you know all my all my brunch dates canceled. Canceled, yeah. 
my my conscious my conscience won't allow it. Integrity, I like it. But integrity is better off though. <laughs> <laughs> integrity. That's what After it is. a couple of weeks, it's I don't know about that anymore. But yeah, you know, you think twice about just a random galavan going out to eat, going to get your hair done. Lies, lies. I say the women them the hair Chris nails done. nails did hair fresh apparently on lockdown. But you know, I think <laughs> I think maybe that was the intention. Minimize even if. To a small extent, we can minimize activity, minimize interactions. So think? we're all here like, boy, you're supposed to be locked down and everything busy. Maybe that was the plan all along. Just less busy. But it's hurting the small the small business owners. It's, it's hurting them because the, the majority of shops that are closed out of those, yeah. those small business, but middle I'm business seeing, owners. I'm seeing a couple, not a couple, I'm seeing a few small business owners. That first week, they were locked down. Now they're offering curbside, they're offering delivery, they're sending their WhatsApp, they got their products, their hair products, their food products on sale to be delivered. So we break, we break Because it. everybody can drive around on Fridays and Wednesdays and Mondays. So we break, we're breaking laws now. Ah, we've been breaking laws. Anywho. Breaking, breaking, been breaking laws. Speaking anyway. about breaking laws. Wow. 50 50 is being the gun. <laughs> it's definitely not. That is not a smooth transition not at, at all. all. <laughs> Speaking of breaking laws. 50 50 has been the topic that has been around now for the past few days. Where, where did it come from? I have no clue exactly. If, Please, any, viewers, if anybody knows, if anybody knows where it came from, where this whole idea originated yeah, from, yeah, because I've seen it a lot, I've seen it in memes, and I'm assuming it was a TikTok, either a TikTok, a uh, song, or some famous person spoke about it on their Instagram. So, if somebody, um, we have a dedicated WhatsApp line today. That you can WhatsApp your your conversations Ooh, to if you don't juicy. want to use on Facebook, and that number is five three five five three six two. Again, the number to WhatsApp your comments and your questions is five three five five three six two. You can send me a WhatsApp right now. And if and you know someone who likes tea, yeah, if you know somebody who likes tea, just likes talking talking yeah. about tea. And so this fifty fifty conversation, I know there was a song that was released. Um, by Cardi B, Lord the Wap, and Meg Thee Stallion. Listen to me, I'm so out. I'm so and so that song came out, and I'm so out of it. Trust and me. And so I think there's a line in that song. This is what I I heard. Not necessarily that it was it directly came from there, but there's a line in the song where she talk about she don't cook, she don't clean, but she still has the ring, right? Like she still got this ring. And so I think the conversation got started around that point, I believe. Okay. And then there she came. She doesn't them, cook. She doesn't clean. Don't she clean. Oh, but ring. she got a ring. And then mm. I mean, I used got millions too, though. So that's not. That's not. <laughs> leave yeah, it a very. I'm pretty sure nobody, <laughs> the person who does cook and clean in your house, is hired. Is it ain't like it ain't like the, your husband's cooking and cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> so let's. That's first of all, let's debunk that whole that Lord, whole little line right there. They just lead in the woman demonstrate. Because you don't cook, you don't clean, you still got a ring. However, your ring costs millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. <laughs> and your husband worth some millions of dollars. And you as well have some millions of dollars. So none of you cook or clean. And y'all still have the ring. But I yeah, I will I will definitely <laughs> say I've seen it around. I've seen a lot of posts about it. I'm not I didn't quite get where it was coming from. Just yeah. So your thoughts on the full 50 50 idea there's a 50 50 idea conversation says, i think you're gonna have to break it down for the, well, the 50, 50, people like me and have no idea what you're so talking about. the the conversation started talking about uh the people who are in relationships and should it be 50 50 where i pay light bill you pay water bill i pay this you pay that we take our bills we split down the middle um there are some things you do some things i do and they say, and that's the way it should be. It should be that kind of 50 50 relationship. In, um, that, and this is the question. The question was, was this talking about single, like you are single and in a relationship with somebody, or is it talking about marriage? And I think the consensus was that this is in, this is um, talking about marriage. No. No. Relationship. Hold on, pause, wait, pull back. Skirt. <laughs> so. I mean, surely it doesn't, re- it doesn't, it's not about relationships because. In my relationship, okay, say I'm dating, and Lord, that's another t- term we would debate. Say yeah. I am courting a man on the way to marriage. Marriage is the end game. You get and we're preparing ourselves for that. I still pay my own light bill, though. 
and I still pay my own rent. So no, 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 no. There's no, there's no, there's no percentage of anything. So at what point you don't expect the man to help you pay the bills? As a, as a, as, a, as what? As now you're on Lynch. Let's say you're being, my, let's say you're being dating now. What words? Are, what times are we supposed to use? People have got boyfriend. What we? What, what words? What words are permitted to use? Because that's the next thing. I don't know. For, for me, for years, my father and my my, my mother would say carry and straw. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Do carry and straw. Carry and straw. Yeah. What that mean? When birds go to make nests, they carry straw. <laughs> And so that means you would start a family together. Okay, so is there no stage before that? <laughs> Karen Straw. Now, daddy, daddy was never no, no boyfriend, girlfriend. That was your friend. Right. Now I'll tell you what my mom. I'll tell you the <laughs> advice my mom told me, and I had a conversation with my friends about this the other day. This was like life advice that she gave to me, gave to my friends, and to this day we still apply it. Now I don't want y'all to take my good mother out of context, but my mother says, and I'm gonna try and tell say it to you as she said it to me nana you don't have boyfriends no you don't have a boyfriend you have boy friends Mm -hmm. so that when the time comes to choose a husband you have boy friends to pick from that's what agatha told me agatha you have boy friends you don't have no boyfriend no single no boyfriend you have boy space friends friends who are boys or males uh, and on that basis of friendship you assess their viability to be a, a mate or companion for the rest of your life so how long does these boys stay friends agatha wasn't specific about that time <laughs> and while it's wonderful advice of course in in practicality it's not as straightforward but i mean all jokes aside are we allowed to say boyfriend christians we, we allowed to say this is my boyfriend yeah i, I think so okay so after boyfriend they become what? Fiance? So yeah, so it goes dating. Then ah, you see? So dating first. Because some people say dating isn't boyfriend. No. So So dating isn't boyfriend. So dating is when you have boy For, friends. Uh, friends. So in dating there is no there is no commitment. There is no this is me. This is mine. Now some people would disagree. I don't know people this. I mean, <laughs> if you have a, if you, I mean, let's, again, yeah. if you disagree, go ahead and say disagree on, type on Facebook, we read it. Uh, so dating is, the dating process, Delton's understanding is, I take Vera, me and Vera go out, we go to the movies when there wasn't Corona, and we watch a movie. And talk. then the next day you <laughs> take Alice to the movies. And then, two days later, I'm like, all right, I grab Alice. All right, let's go. We go watch different movie because i saw one already so i go watch a different movie with alice mm. oh i take alice out we go out on the fry is go, there a requirement for you to tell vera that you took alice to the movies no why not Fewa. what do you mean Fewa? no just to make sure there's no ambiguity make sure everybody's clear on what's going on because if it's if it's so fine and okay why not tell her I mean, if it's so like that's what we do with necessary. dating why not say hi um i mean just because you what know, I tell what I tell you for? Because because you see, and this is what I don't like. We know that there's a tendency for people to, you know, presume, misconstrue. So put everything out there one time. If, okay, if, maybe don't say I'm taking Alice, but make sure whoever you're dating has the same understanding of dating as if you. If this do. is our third and fourth, yes. W- why is that different? Because I mean that there are obviously some interest that I that I came back. Okay. Okay. So, I there can, is I some interest that. there that I came back a sec for a second date, a third date, a fourth date. Right? So from fourth. second date, because you said third and fourth now. Yeah, so after, after we didn't do two, and I, I am interested in the third, but you know what? Okay. So I so think... that person now deserves to know that you are also dating other people. Yeah. Even though that was the premise from day one. So why don't you say it from day one? But I think if I get to third and fourth, I probably... I don't know if I'll go with somebody else. You that's that's this, Delton, though. So then is it date... Oh. That is Delta. But then is it date? That's what I'm saying. I feel like this whole dating means you can be dating till, you know, dating everybody until whatever. Well, does it? Because there's a gets to a point in dating where that's not as okay anymore. Yeah, definitely. And that's when it becomes a relationship. That's, that's when it becomes boyfriend. That's when it comes down. You know what? Does it though? We are exclusive. 
and so it, that's only when the, that's only when one or the other acknowledges makes the statement yeah. we are exclusive and, a, and so if nobody says anything up until date six we can still just be dating oh other date people. seven date eight date nine i've heard for the bahamian female up until date 100 if you if you oh, this is a bunch of foolishness <laughs> if we have never said that we are a relationship we are not in a relationship you see whoever said that that's the ideal your mind doesn't work like that though our Def- minds don't do that not. Our minds become attached. Our emotions become invested. That's why I feel like you got to tell sis from day one because sis may be a date one, get attached kind of chick. And she in love? I mean, she ain't in love. But she ain't going to like take too kindly to you just... Y'all don't want it. Because I feel like... If, anyway, I feel like everyone's understanding is different. Personally, I feel like if I go on a date with a gentleman, I don't like the term dating as being the permitted space for you to date other people. I think just say what we're doing. Hi, you know, interest, let's go out, see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And after that, if after the first see how it goes, if we meet again, we're going to need to clarify what's going on here. Making sure everybody's on the same. Yeah, man. If I second second time, second time. time? That means the first time was a success. No, the first time, like something happened. We we didn't get through. That's different. That's happened to me before. (laughs) First date disaster. They were like, we have to try this again. <laughs> and obviously that's that a car work. broke down. It was very, it was very, very uh, painful. Based upon the life that I know now, that second date wasn't worth it either. No, it wasn't. No. <laughs> no. And the second date was a pity date, to be honest. I, I didn't want to, wow. but I did it because the first one had gone so badly. But my point is, if you have a good first date, <laughs> hmm. by the second time you meet, there needs to be some clarification about what's going on because you're like what, what is the you're clarification like, we all live in the we, all, we don't live in a bubble where everything is ideal people's feelings get entangled but yes is, I said entangled what is the clarification that we need to establish depending on the two persons so, so, so the first date so what does dating was, mean to you and what is dating are we dating number one or are you trying to gather a new group of besties because you're, you're you, 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 got, you know this is your, your season your friends and they, the, the season of your last friends ended mm-hmm. God moved them out of your life so you're looking for new friends some yeah. people looking for new friends don't yeah. they? some people frenzy so make sure I know what, what, what we're doing is this dating from a romantic perspective more than pl- more than platonic if so what does that mean to you because I might have a different meaning of that it's, it's date two buddy date two I don't know if I agree. What do you mean? You see, my thing is, what do we lose from being straightforward as early on as possible? What do we lose by being clear? Because everybody, I still didn't know all enough. Six, I, all our sixteen viewers, <laughs> thank you, sixteen viewers and <laughs> listeners on Glory ninety three point nine and tune in. I the radio. All of them know. All, this all sounds great. Bunch of ideals. The reality is, pe- humans have feelings, yeah. and feelings get entangled. And y'all know. You're got in a mix up because somebody wasn't clear. Somebody didn't state what it was. But how early do I need to be clear? Is my question. My own thing. What you waiting why, for? Why do I need to give you clarity in day two? Clarity is key. Andy Smith says, I agree. Hey, Andy. But why not, though? <laughs> you're, saying, you're telling me why do you need to? I've explained why you need to because everybody thinks differently. Yeah. Why not? I don't need to give you the clarity in day two. You don't have to give any. But clarity might not be, I want to marry you, you know. Clarity no, might just be, hey. Clar- clarity is day two. It's like, you know what? Day one was good. Let's try this again. So date three date three is fine, but not date two. Because day two, I still try to get you're to understand. Because date one, that was very loud. Wow. Date one, <laughs> date one, I'm going to go somewhere sort of probably not as intimate. Or like not as casual, sorry, for date one. Day two, I'm go, let's go somewhere casual. Take the pressure off. Take the, like, feel the need to impress off. We ain't getting out to no restaurant, no sit down, fine dining. No. One of our viewers says, what are your intentions? It's very straightforward. My intentions are to have a casual, good time, find out more about you. Say it. Say it. Say it. Just say that. Just say that. Anyway, we're talking about 50 <laughs> How we get it? Because, yeah, and my point is, <laughs> the point I was making initially, you know, we, back, we had to go back to the beginning. Yeah. Because if you're talking about my, 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 my boyfriend, because we're using that word. Yeah. My boyfriend on the way to... Special friend. My special friend. <laughs> we, so I'm assuming we're at the point where we've decided we are, we, we are compatible. We are exclusive. We are exclusive. So at this point now, we are exclusive. No, I'm beyond not, exclusivity I'm now. not dating anybody else. I'm not taking anybody else Okay, out. so not it's only are we exclusive, Jessie. but we are also 
we've also established that this ex- exclusivity we want to lead to marriage because sometimes exclusivity you still don't know whether they yeah, is the no, one. Yeah, no, I think this, no, I think we, I think so. In the idea, the fifty-fifty talk, if it's leading to marriage, yet. because it's fifty-fifty. Also, I think when I think dating, I think oh, when you go to a restaurant, you go half and half, yeah, and stuff like that. That makes more sense than I'm expecting this random exclusive, but not. Sure, he could marry me to pay my rent. Should it be? Should it? Should it be half and half? Uh, first date. They say first date. Do we pay for? Do I? Do, I believe first pay? date half and half. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you why. What? To avoid any confusion. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> believes something different. Everybody because yeah, I would go half and half, fifty fifty. I just and or. I would make a genuine offer to pay half. Suppose the man like I ain't gonna do the reach, a, ladies. So, you know about the reach, and you pretend you go in for so, your. But purse. suppose the male like out the gate says, "Hey, you have to pay for half of this." How do you feel? I would have made sure we established that before I got out. I don't like awkward. I don't do well in awkward situations. <laughs> I don't do well in awkward situations. So Sorry, I would so have made sure before we left. Before hold, we on, get hold, out on, the car. hold on, hold on. So and I say the let's car. Say, let's say we pass- didn't. Let's say we didn't, because he ain't picking you up. You drive Nelly. You drive Nelly by yourself. Yeah, because my pastor tell me, don't, don't let no man pick you up. No, don't state. do that. Not the first date. Unless you get no car. And it was absolutely necessary. You know what that happened. Fair enough. You don't be locked now in case it go bad. <laughs> in you want, case. You always need a way of escape. South. Oh, my always gosh. Always. Oh. So, all right. So, we didn't establish it. We get to the dinner table. Wow. Uh, Auntie Lee say, no way. I'm not paying one cent. That's, 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 I found there. That's what I expected. Auntie Lee, you can tell me why, please. Oh, the man, the man taking you out. But let's just say, so man comes, he he goes to the, the check comes to the table, and he picks up the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what what you had? You had or you had the steak and the shrimp? Okay. Oh, you know what? That's gonna be off putting. All right. I'm gonna lie. So I had I had the chicken breast and the fries. Oh, that's not even fifty fifty. That's just pay. <laughs> so that's what like you paid for. well, my bill is twenty seven dollars plus VAT. So I put $33 on the table. Uh, and I slide that shit over to you. Is you there know a, what? Is there a second date? There's going to be a second date. Let me tell you why. What? Let me tell you why. I'm not going to pretend that that's not slightly off-putting. But it's only slightly off-putting because of the, the standard society has put on men. There are so many reasons a man might decide I'm going half and half with this woman on this first date. Women like to abuse. Let me not say a lot... A good many women like to abuse this. We are entitled to be catered to, mm-hmm. pampered. Yes. First date, you're supposed to pay for my, so let me eat everything. I don't really like you. I'm not really interested in you. To be honest, I don't think there's going to be a second date from the first time I spoke to you. However, I feel like somebody feeding me. A good meal. You know what I mean? You want, you want a good meal. You want a good meal. And so I feel like men protect themselves from that kind of abuse. And it's almost a way... And you can correct me if I'm wrong. I can see that as a way for a male to test the kind of woman he is. He is getting in, getting into whatever with if this is going to be more than what it is. So I feel like there are so many good reasons for a man not to pay all. Mm-hmm. If he paid all, trust me, you get an extra couple of points. If you pay all, you get a couple of extra points. If you take out your calculator and calculate what you ate <laughs> with the VAT, you're going to lose a couple of points. However... If I split it down the middle, what is that then? Split it down the middle. So split I pay all, middle, yeah. I pay all and get split points. Split it down the middle, just looks nicer. It just looks cleaner. It looks less petty. I prefer that. I prefer mm. that. So I don't calculate into the cent. Nope. What I mean, that would be awkward. Yeah, if he, cal- if he calculates, I'm going to be like, sir, sir. However, I can see that there are I can see that there are reasons a man would um not want to go all in on that first date. And I respect those reasons. If you go all in, very nice uncle. You're gonna get extra points. <laughs> extra points. If you don't, I'm not gonna hold it against you. Now I'm now if I see that that's a trait, that's why I'm gonna give you second date. Because I need to I'm gonna try and make a distinction between So at what at what point I'm supposed to take over full responsibility. No, 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 not take over full responsibility. Oh. <laughs> but if that calculating cent for cent for cent, I want to know where that comes from. That I com- want to know the root of that. But that, yeah, say he com- that comes from the idea that you listen to me. There is no, there's no attachment here. There is no. Cool. We are still in the. Let me get to know who you are first. Ah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> That's good. And that's why you need clarity. That's why second date, I can say, okay, so that whole calculating, you know, we live in a society where mm. a lot of women expect men to pay for the full check. You t- you you choose to calculate your um, cent to the dollar to the cent. Why is that? But I, I don't get to attach no woman. <laughs> you know, 
women, y'all is crazy. Y'all is like, take advantage of man. And that doesn't happen to me one time. Huh? I won't happen again. Like, oh, no, no problem. Now, if me and you are, we are still dating, four, <laughs> date number four, and you're still telling me, I want to get attached, <laughs> cool, no problem. That could be the last one. So four. Yeah, man. Four I mean, is not, four. not four strictly, but there will come a All point right, where so I'd let's be say, like... let's say by date four, he, he, he ain't doing the exact set. So by date four now, he's now, let's say his bill... If he calculated it, it would come to $35. He put 50 on the table. The bill was still 120 because you going all out. And he didn't know that you were like the... See, women, that's why you all go all out. If I'm going all out, trust me, I would have just I would have known before we we before we started eating who was paying. So by fourth day, he starts to increase the money gifts. Is that a sign that you That's know a it? sign. That's a sign okay. of, yeah, you know, it's a little investment. Some of the comments here, very interesting. Um, this not paying one cent. Please don't get me wrong. I would love for the man to pay for the whole check, but mm. I'm not going to go on the first day expecting him to. Maybe I'm wrong for that. Ladies, tell me what you think. Um, we can go half and half and decide from the get-go, but calculate to the cent is a nah. Um, calculate to the cent is a no. Um, Miss Newbold, Mrs. Newbold says, offer to pay 50 and let him decline, but take notes. But what if he doesn't decline? I have to be willing to pay the 50, <laughs> right? You have to be. That's why I, I, I can do the reach. Don't go but if I'm doing the reach, don't go I have to pull your card. Right. I know your card or your trade dollars on it. <laughs> so I'm down for the reach. I'm okay. down for the whole. No, I got this. I got my piece. We could go half and half. I'm down for that. But yeah. I must make sure what is in my. Because if he turn around and shame me and say, "Okay, let's go," I have to be ready to pay. <laughs> I have to be ready to pay. Like fifty fifty. Okay, Auntie that's Lee how. say, Auntie Lee still say, <laughs> "What kind of man is that? Is that is is paying the full check? Is is that a sign of some kind of?" Manly tray is that it some, is. It what, is. what do you think? Once, it is? once is is I'm taking you out, then I'm responsible to pay for whatever it is that we get. I can come to that in a second because you said once it is I'm taking you out, and all over um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, I'm seeing women getting down on their knees proposing to men. So that's another thing. That's altogether. another topic. Put a, you put a pin right there. Put a pin in there. <laughs> you put a some, pin right there. Some men just want to make sure this isn't someone who wants to take advantage of him. That's what I feel like, and I don't want you. I feel like, let me establish from the first date, I'm not the one to take advantage. But don't ever get it twisted. I do want to be pampered. I do want to be spoiled. I think, I think the, the average male, especially behaving male, like automatically being covered at first date. I, I think there's very few that, that won't. So then after that, it will change? No. So you start I, asking me to go on? <laughs> I think the more and more it goes, like once you get to a place of, of comfort and like now we didn't, we didn't pass that first few days, I ain't trying to impress you no more. Now I'm listening to me. I get $30. <laughs> so we on this day now like sweetie I have $30 now you could get something that costs 20 yeah, just, just know that if he's counting pennies that's a no no what if he's on a budget I on a budget yeah, so don't what if he's me. on a budget and he doesn't have money but he spoke to you and he's like listen this girl is she is hot to trot if I, if I wait a hot week to hot trot. to trot if I wake is, a week what is hot to trot about? like it's a hot cake hot to trot hot to trot if new. I wait another week another man is gonna come and swoop her off her feet I really want this woman to get to know that I'm a great guy I don't have much money though so counting pennies I mean I'm uh, again I'm, and this is this is me trying to put myself in someone else's shoes now this whole thing about if he's if he asks you mm. on a date yeah what if he isn't the one that asked the date to go on a date? What if the woman suggested that they go out? Now nah, you better open all the can of worms. And I, what the, I want to know, bust what this can of worms woman, wide open. What the woman doing asking to go on a date? Bust this can of worms wide open. Please. Woman don't ask man, man to go on a date? Huh? Woman don't ask man to go on a date? Delton, woman don't ask man to go on a no. date. Let me give you a, a, a personal experience. <laughs> go ahead, man. Facebook, tune in, Glory 93.9. I'm about to put my business on these streets. Put it on there. Budgeting and penny picking is different. Let me get my little tea together. <laughs> Budgeting and penny picking is different. Budgeting and penny picking is different. I know. That's what you're me. If I, I budget $3 for this date. I but I guess penny date. picking is where it's like, no, mine is twenty seven fifty five. I don't do the calculation of the bottom of my calculator. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. yeah so I, I, I agree. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, he doesn't different. need to be, he don't need to be making no date. Yasmin's saying, if you don't have money, don't make no date. Oh, that's how we doing it? This is what we saying. So if you have so a lady going on a date, you, if you're not to, balling this month, you you had some expenses. I got laid off from COVID nineteen. Uh, but this girl, I, Yasmin, say, I say Yasmin she say hot no. to trot. Wow, Yasmin, let me know. Wow, Yasmin, Yasmin say he should not be making a date. Wow. So I got so. So dating is for people with money. I gotta stay single. Jesus, what is this? Okay, so let me. This is let me let me give you this um, scenario. Let me give you this scenario. 
I was at a, I went to a wedding. All my business on the streets, Lord oh. Jesus. Went to a wedding, a very good friend's wedding. And prior to the wedding, he had indicated to me that that he had his his fiance mm. wife to be had a friend that he thought I would be very compatible with. Yeah. Um, and then I forgot about it. So we went to the wedding. No one said anything after that. We went to the wedding, and indeed there was a young gentleman that I got talking to. It was only after the fact I realized I'd been completely set up. But I got talking to a very, very interesting guy. Like, we had such a good conversation. This was at the engagement party. So wedding come in. I had put two and two together. I was like, ah, this is the guy they were talking about. Mm. I was like, and to be fair, good judgment. Because based on that first interaction, seems like a cool dude. Hot to trot. Hot to trot. <laughs> Came to the wedding now. And what happened was he didn't actually come to the reception. He had somewhere to go. Mm. So he was at the wedding. And you don't have big conversation no. at people wedding. Even though the wedding was very late. And we could have had plenty of conversation. <laughs> but he didn't come to the reception. And so it was almost like, well, that's a missed opportunity. Mm. Because... I don't live in the UK. This and this is in recent times. I don't live in the UK. I'm not going to meet this guy. gentleman anyway. Something happened. Oh, months later, me and my friend were talking, and he was like, he brought up this friend that he had mentioned that I spoke to. Did I like him? I was like, the interaction was very brief, but he came across as a really nice mm -hmm. guy. I was like, oh, such a shame. Didn't come to the thing. You know, the next big event. Hopefully, you two can talk. And then I thought, I'm grabbing the bull by the horns. You are an interesting guy. Found him on Facebook, slid in his DMs. Yes, lady, oh, I slid in oh, his man. DMs. What? Cool. From that point, we started interacting. Clearly, as I sit here before you, you can tell it went nowhere. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, from my interaction with him, and especially when it was, I was at that point where I don't really get like, what is he into? Like, mm. is he interested? And you never know because you made the first move. Yeah. Because you reached out first, you never know. But what did come to light, especially in speaking to my other male friends, they like it when a woman approaches them. That's not unattractive to men, which all my life I thought it was. I thought a woman that approaches a man or a woman that asks a man on a date is going to scare him away. That's, my, that's what I thought my whole life. And then real life tell me, not, not necessarily so. So... <laughs> Julia, I wanted to know if you shined your eye. Did I shine my eye? <laughs> <laughs> Just say where your eye shined. Malika say go Vera. Now Malika, that's not a comfortable situation for me. I have been conditioned by society yeah. to always be approached by the man. But it was very eye opening, eye shining <laughs> when the feedback from this guy and other males is like, listen, a woman that approaches us or shows interest in us is not off putting at all. That's attractive. Now, will I do it again? I don't know about that. <laughs> But my point is, we're talking about women asking men on a date. Why not grab the bull by the horns? I'm play and, and I'm playing advocate here, ladies. I'm not necessarily you're saying you'll go ask men on dates. This I didn't ask him on a date. I just initiated a conversation. But What's what wrong? is wrong with what is that? Wrong? What is wrong with that? If apparently to a man it's not unattractive. Society. Now, society is wrong with that? So, no, I mean the way the way that, that that it was passed down through generations to generation to generation is that as a man you see a young lady that you like you approach her right and that's that there was no there was no other part of the story that was it <laughs> there was know, no other side of the story there in our no little in our whatsapp groups in our girl chats we will say listen girl if he don't message you he don't like you because a man who's interested in you he could approach you he could you know he will pursue you and that's a lie Thank you. And this is so we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. That's, that's a lot because I want to believe that. I want to believe that if a man is interested in you, he'll pursue you. But the man sitting fr right in front of me is telling me this is a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. For, for a lot of times, for especially if I go back and, and <laughs> I look at my life, I look at my life, for, for the majority of my life, I had low self esteem, so I wasn't even th I wasn't even the thought of actually like approaching a woman wasn't even a possibility or thought. Right. <laughs> it wasn't even a thought, and so for years, like I wouldn't even talk. Oh, me never. And so it is. But then, just okay, so we've accept, we've accept because I'm here in society. I don't see nothing wrong with a female approaching a man. So, it's, you see, because if a female can approach a man, and we think that's okay. Especially if we've established that a man wanting you, a man not approaching you isn't always a sign of him not wanting you. We've mm -hmm. established that. We've agreed yeah. that that is true. 
therefore, why can't a woman ask a man on a date? And if she does, should she pay the whole check? Because she asked. Well. Because is the principle that whoever asked the person on, asked the person on the date should pay? Or is the principle that the man, the man should, should always pay? Because now we, I ain't sure what y'all want to do. Let me get some of these comments. Well. Yasmin said, I need someone to translate these abbreviations and terms. <laughs> Yasmin, which one in particular do you speak of? Probably Shine d- your eye. Or DM. Or just slid in the DM. Oh, slid in the DM. The direct message. Direct message. The so direct message. That means um, Yasmin, she sent a text via, the, a, via the internet. Via the internet. <laughs> right. A message no one else could see. Yasmin. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... The, that the man should approach the woman first. I agree that's what society dictates, but the reality is sometimes the man don't approach. And so, that doesn't necessarily mean he's not interested. It means he might have all of the issues dealt in, you know, self-esteem, you know. I don't know. Young men tell me. Okay. Well, Jeff writing a paragraph and my name is at the top of it. I don't know how I feel about that. Read it, man. Go ahead, read it. Vera's position of asking out a man said that she was uncomfortable. Men have been conditioned by society for rejection by women, but women don't have that conditioning. They can choose who to reject or not. That's crazy. But Malika say, I'm not asking. Malika, you of all people? <laughs> Miss Bold. Malika Bold, man. <laughs> Miss New Bold, you strong, bold woman. So Jeff is saying that men have been conditioned to be rejected. So Jeffrey, are you arguing that that's a reason why men don't ask? No, I think that's why men ask. That's why it could be so comfortable asking. And, so and, women don't and, ask because they're not used to being rejected. Yeah, that whole being told no. I think if you're the kind of woman that asks, you're gonna have to have the the, 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 the <laughs> loins, <rabbit ups. laughs> the loins to be turned down, you know. And accept that that might be your lot because but, you chose to went, you, you chose to go out on a limb. But it's not though. It, society said that that's what a man to do. So and if he has low esteem, you can't help him. Wow. Auntie Lee say, listen, don't approach him because if you have low self-esteem, that's not going to be your problem. Then the, hence why I was single for my life. <laughs> I was out there in these streets just by myself. Befriended a lot of people, though. I was friends to a lot. Oh, God. Th- they're the worst kind, eh? I was I was friends. Ladies, that's the worst kind. I was friend zoned to pieces. Friend zoned to pieces? I was friend zoned to pieces. You weren't friend zoned. You put yourself there. Friend zoned implies somebody did that to you. You did that to no, yourself. I, I was also friend zoned a few times. But you didn't, uh, anyway. No, I did. I mean, when I did actually try to approach, no, I was friend zoned that dude. Okay, so a lot think, of the I, ladies I was such, saying, a, I was such a good friend at the time. It's like, nah, you're such a good friend. Let's just stay here. Stay there. <laughs> A lot of the ladies are saying they're not asking. And I'm with them. I'm with them. I'm, I'm not going to ask a guy on a date. That, that one's point blank, period. And, I, you know, I went out on a limb and I tried the whole slide in his DMs. But you didn't ask for a date, though. You, you just, you just no, made, I you just, just made, made the, the first contact. First contact. Yeah. I just initiated the conversation. So there's a difference between making the first... I mean, well, is there? Yes, first, yes, yes. First yes, yes. online, is that a difference between a lady making the initial conversation to the... Or is that seem as the same thing? Malika Make, say it's almost like proposing to a man. Asking them on a the first date is almost like proposing. Ma'am? I see your point, but they're so far removed. Proposing to a man is a is not a no; it's a heaven no. Well, Asking a man on a date is a strong no. It's a strong no. Sliding into his DMs, I tried it. I ain't gonna do it again. Uh, Delton, they coming for us. Yeah, no, the Jeff, Jeff, they all in. They all in. Oh, Friend listen to me, Ashlyn. Friend zone is my nickname. I mean, so the the question, the, the initial discussion was fifty fifty. Yeah. Now we and we went we, we we downgraded fifty fifty <laughs> to going on a date. Mm. And we've got a lot of views coming in. Friend zone to pieces. 50-50 <laughs> on a first date. I'm voting yes because I prefer to be safe. However, if he does stretch forth his wallet and pay the whole check, he's going to score extra points with me. If he starts counting pennies, very unattractive. Mm-hmm. But a straight down divide of the check, I'm cool with that. I'm also not going to eat my guts out. A round, how about a round figure? Let's say it's not 50 50. So he, it, the bill's 100 and he just drops. He drops 60 on the table. 65. 65 and expects me to pay the balance. Yeah. You see, it's, but, I think my position is always I don't like ambiguity in this life. I don't like, don't presume or assume. I'd prefer that before we even <laughs> enter the car, before we cross the threshold of this place, we established how this was going to work. Let's say, let's say, so uh, Bill comes. Because if you put 65, you don't see me reaching for my wallet. I'm just sitting there looking at you. I look, and I look, you drop 65. I look, I look back at you. <laughs> what, what, what if I don't have the $35? Uh, yeah, that's, we get to discuss that now. Like, oh, so you don't, wow. 
50-50, yes. Thank you. I have somebody backing me on the 50-50. But 50-50 on the premise that we discussed this before we came. So if there's no discussion, man, let's go in. If there's no discussion, be prepared to pay for what you eat. Plus, okay. plus what? And gratuity. And gratuity. So that's 32% extra. 32? I lie. Uh-uh. Then, eat, then eat salad and drink water. <laughs> 27% extra. So your bill plus 27%. Yeah. That, that's right. If you count Penny's first date, total turn off for me. Just saying, it is a turn off. Definitely. Yeah, is no, you, a turn no off. you kind of can't. But I mean, to me, like, let's say if I just pay them, a, like, if I offer, let's say we have no discussion, if the check comes out, the bill is 150 and I put I put 120 out. How do you feel? Let's say, I mean, that, like, you have money. Let's say that you have some money to take care of yourself. But we didn't talk about it before. <laughs> I, I mean, it could go one, either way. I put a one twenty there, and I just look at you like it could just... go the it could go either way. I could be like, okay, you are generous. It's not you know, and because you know, which in that moment of you paying the act of you paying, we're making a lot of judgments. Yeah, are you stingy? Are you generous? Are you you know, is money a problem for you? We're we making we're trying to draw a lot of conclusions. Yeah, so you put one hundred and twenty down, and there's thirty left for me to pay. I'm mean, like, well, that's all right. The kind of person I am, I am going to put that one twenty down, and I'm going to slide it to you. I, I want to see what your response is. I get everybody. You see, it's all this, all these games and yeah, methods oh, and strategies I'm, I'm of trying going, to figure the other person I'm out. Going to play a game. Instead of saying, "Listen, when we go, I could drop the majority of the bill, but carry a little extra for tip and the top piece." So I'm because nobody wants to say that. I'm the kind of person say, I get. The, I get the bill. I'm gonna be like, "Wow, so how much you got?" I'm acting out of like. Let's, let's see what people that I'm saying. Oh, lot. <laughs> I'm for discussing prior. Jody Ann, I'm with you. Never go nowhere without cash. And I know my friend Pocasia knows means that. Um, Malika says she ain't pulling nothing out. Really, sis? No. <laughs> because the same way we judge the man for counting pennies or for paying the whole check or paying half, he's doing the same to us, you know. Mm-hmm. Doing the same to us. Um, the P. Diddy stare off. I, the P. Diddy stare off. Definitely. <laughs> I look at you. You look at me like, all right. I know it, you know it. Um, okay. <laughs> Darren Roll says, a man paying should not be up for discussion. Brownie points, gents. Period. It is brownie points, Darren. But it's at the discussion. end of the day... It should be up for discussion, is what you're saying. I mean... There should be a discussion the, part listen, of it. Listen, if the man comes and says, I'm paying, I don't want to hear nothing. Me discuss? <laughs> I'm not discussing. I'm going to nod my head. No, but what, I think what Darren is saying is that's not even a discussion point. Like, like, we shouldn't be having this that conversation. That should be there. Automatically, you we go on our first date. Darren, this the new man age. Is this new age. And that's what they have to say, Darren. Darren. We get, we're in a progressive this, stage now. Yeah, the, the ladies are different. Because I would... Ha- and I could, I could come to that in a second. Sorry. Pay the bill. I've paid for all of my first dates. But when I discuss paying the entire bill in, I order first the burger, but you order the surf and surf. <laughs> You want a burger, yes, they, medium, rare with fries, and that's another that's one. Do you, do you judge if the if the man is paying the full check? Do you judge what you order based on what he orders? That is bad. No, but I I think for females they automatically assume the man is paying, so they really some instances I've seen they they, they go all out. Ladies, is that what we do? And oh. I want to hear from Auntie Elise. Auntie Elise, that's what we do. Oh, oh he my aunt, you he's oh paying my, the check. My aunt won the full surface. Stop turf. it, Auntie Elise. <laughs> he paying Elise the full. He's full saying day. I got this. You going all out? With some shrimp. Just, ladies, this is what we doing? With some shrimp on the side. I just go for treating others how I like to be treated. I oh, no. Golden rule. Basic. Ladies go all the way out, buddy. Everything. I want appetizers. I want so Auntie surf and Lisa, turf. Auntie Elise and Malika in one gang. I'm not paying and I don't care. <laughs> and they ain't asking out either. Cassie and Jody in the gang that carry your money. Just in case per adventure. Preferably discussed before. Yasmin's saying, if, sorry, Cassie says, if your pocket handicap state your truth before the date, don't surprise me. But Cassie, some people are saying if your pocket is handicapped, don't go on a date. That's what they say. Apparently. And what Yasmin saying? Yasmin say if you broke. Yasmin say if you broke, stay off. Stay by yourself. Yasmin now says, but a lady should never go out, date or otherwise, without cash in their purse. I always go with at least fifty dollars in my wallet, minutes on my phone, and in my car. <laughs> my, my Wisdom. Car. Wisdom uh, right there. That's good. That, I I there I have no dispute. Everyone, um, Julie's agreeing with Yasmin. Go somewhere with the late money in your wallet. Mopi agrees. Jody, if you have a surf and turf appetite, <laughs> you need to bring surf and turf money yourself. I agree. That's the man's responsibility. Because, listen, anything could go down. My guy could tell you, sis, I leave my wallet home. His car get the glide. His car. My, my, imagine that. And by not, and not by his fault. Not I, by I, his I, fault. I had my glide the glide before, and that's because someone hacked my account and I didn't know. But I'm old school. 
if we out on a date or not, make sure you have enough to cover the bill and tips. This is the man. Yeah. This is what Darren's saying for the man. So we're talking about 50-50 on the date, in the dating stage, and at what point that stops. And in my mind, I think the man covers more as the dates go on. But in Dalton's mind, as the man gets more comfortable, he covers less of the check. That's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. I guess we'll hear what well, people how, think. How, in Dalton's term, for Dalton's mind, I always have enough to. Okay. Auntie Lee, sorry, she came to correct me. No, ma'am, I watch how he is how he is first date. I won't order everything first date. I think that's fair. I think if we are expecting the man to pay, if he has agreed to pay, don't run out on him, man. And if you do, that's just that's you telling him about yourself. But um, there are some men that, that expect you to do that too, though. Some men expect you like, no, I go on. Let me see what you can do. Like they, they, they <laughs> go ahead. Don't tell me that. I don't know what you want. Tell, them, tell the people, don't tell me that. <laughs> like, I do what you want. Like, okay, then. Tell well, them this tea is hot today because the, the, the vous them. The vous them just the, going the higher, vous, higher, higher. Yeah. So, so, we've, so we've established 50 50 first date. Is 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 acceptable, but not. Preferable. Yeah, it's preferable. However, we ex- the man is expected to be. I'm, but ladies, I'm from be that, ready I'm for from any event. I'm from that school of Alfonso Rule where the man pays for everything. All the time, forevermore? All the time. My daddy has this rule to this day. There's only one man in his house. Well. And that one man is the man that pays the bills. But you see, that one because Mr. Man Afonso take care of everything. has cut his cloth according to his size. He hasn't bitten off more than he could chew. He, he, that was his word however many years ago, and it's still his word today. I mean, nonetheless, keep in mind, my dad don't have a job. <laughs> Even when you say this, he had a job. <laughs> that used to do construction. Yeah, auntie, you say that's different. If yeah. they order what you want, different story. Cassie says, my daddy, Cassie says, my daddy had no job then. But he still says, did This I can take the last comment before we graduate to 50-50 in the marriage then. Because we're talking about dating. Yeah. We talked about pre-dating, dating. Um, no, Vera, it could go somewhere. Your pocket could... Your pocket would just be a little bit... <laughs> Why are you worded like that? Has it in your pocket could so she's Cassie's arguing. No, we could go if you don't have plenty of money. Your pocket might be a little retarded on the first date. Let's discuss that though. But does the man want to be telling you all his money business on your first date? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I want to say that. It's a discussion that should be had. Circumstances can change. Right, not preferred, but notes will be taken. Absolutely. So now we go to 50-50 and this idea, because this is where this conversation started and I needed clarification and now we've gone around the bush and it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> no, because I mean, cause you, was, you were starting to get to 50-50 marriage, but I think there's a point even before marriage where 50-50 comes in. Because the dating part, we have established, I mean, not established, but we've had our views on that. 50-50 is it's okay. It's, it's not a big thing. We go on a date and we do we separate our bills 50 50 but if we because get at that stage that's all our bills are really yeah as far as i can say that's so let's sharing. say so now there's another step that we jump forward to let's say now we have been dating now we have been in a relationship now for two years what happened My i'm reading words. yasmin's last comment that's oh. nice my husband and i have been together for 19 years and i've never paid for any date to this day unless i'm treating I'm going to let you know how much I have to spend. You have to say, I'm treating you. On a budget. I got $200. I'm treating you to win Wendy's. $200. Very nice. Yeah. I'll rec- receive it. So, I mean, can't get nice Wendy's. <laughs> so, that's, so, that's what that's I, I can take you where my... Can't get a, so, my a solid afford. combo from Bamboo. <laughs> so, we, solid we're definitely combo. coming to the end of our time. So, yeah. So, anyway. So, as we come to the end... Um, and we, we, nev- we never cover all the topics, guys. No, because today y'all came in smoking with paragraphs and whatnot. At 50 50. And dating. is a hot topic out there. And Apparently, that's we, the top we, t- we still didn't really end that whole 50 50. I mean, that whole dating thing. Because we still didn't really establish a full term of dating yet. That's still ain't established yet. Yeah, How long do you is? date before it becomes. Apparently, no. There, and do you, you still you call have, it dating? You have to verbally say that this is no longer a date. Right. First of all. But you should I you should also verbally say dating is defined as this to me. And find what the dating is then. And when that changes, I'm going to let you know. Okay. Don't assume that the person is okay with us dating and you dating other people. Make sure just just double check. No harm to double check. So we gotta stop. So from back to our first point, clarity is key from Andy. So clarity has to be said, listen to me, Vera. Hey, let's go out. We going out today. However, I need you to know. The people to say this needs to be continued. I'm thinking tomorrow. Because <laughs> we're supposed to do um, Thursday and Friday 
Oh no, there's no no one's here tomorrow. No one's here tomorrow. No. So Friday. <laughs> Jeffrey said double standard. <laughs> well, Jeffrey, Jeffrey coming for Yasmin. I'm not getting any business. Yeah, yeah, no. No, it's definitely, it's definitely a double standard. I ain't paying for no date at all. If I take you out, though, here's what we, here's, here's a stipulation. How is that? Maybe he does the same to her. Apparently not, but. Come on. That's not a double standard. Listen, if you want to extend your hand every time, I ain't going to try and match you. I've, uh, yeah. That's not a double standard. Based on your husband's tone and her and the text that I'm going to that, like <laughs> put my own thinking on, this is not the tone of someone that says, this is, no, this this is. I pay for none wherever we go. Iceberg. <laughs> exactly. Iceberg, iceberg, iceberg. Yeah, so, no, no, no. I, I will interpret your action stone in her text message. To be continued indeed, <laughs> friends. Because yeah, cause this this conversation, especially for Christians, we need to place some, some. I think we, we probably dividers. can never put some dividers on this. Because you have dating, then you have, okay, we in this quote-unquote Marisha boyfriend. Says, keep going, guys. <laughs> we in this quote-unquote boyfriend, girlfriend state. I see you, um, <laughs> um, and then, Radio there, host Marisha Walker, and then there is like a we've been dating now for three to four years heading towards marriage and and for me that's the most difficult part when we say you know and I'm using the term boyfriend it sounds really immature to you yeah. at this stage in life but what else do we say special friend my exclusive friend my but you know there's dating and you've got to be clear what does that mean to the two people mm-hmm. and when you transfer from we could be seeing other people to we're not together we're not exclusive but i still don't want to be seeing other people while i date you i'm yeah. still figuring you out but out of respect i'm not going to date other people it's because you. it's going to confuse the process it's only you i'm dating then we become exclusive but then we're not exclusive with the certainty that we're going to be married and then we get to a point in it is it's a lot of things but the, i it's think a lot i'd like for- to delete some of the stages what said you want to delete though? I would like to delete the whole dating, dating other people stage. So let us be talking. In <laughs> so, this age, day and age, you have FaceTime. I don't have to go out to do. I can't see your face. That whole dating, the, the, the part of dating where you can see other people, I'd like that to be You want to cancel that? I want to cancel that. So Then the part of exclusivity where we're not sure we're getting married, I'm going to cancel that too. So I would like to date you. Uh-huh. If I turn around and say, it's you, babe. In my mind, I know you enough to know this could be the one for marriage. If that means we date for three years, let us be dating for three years. But once I say it's you, I don't want to go back. I want to do it's you. Ah, oh, I thought it was, but it's not. It's you. So it's date. We talked enough to know we would like to date and not be dating a bunch of people. And how long? Then we dated enough to how long, know. How long is that period for you? Huh? How long is that period for you of that date? It depends on the person. And at this stage in life, it's less than it was five years ago. <laughs> well, okay. So to be, you can check your mess. Oh no, we can't check. I that. can't check my message either though, because my phone is using the to do the thing, to do the thingy. Uh, I g- let's give it an extra ten minutes. So that's we've ten been, minutes. We've been permitted. We've been permitted by. Um, so we're borrowing some of Misha's time. We're borrowing for mid, some of for, mid, for midday glory, so, yeah. which we found out itself. It's <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think in terms of the stages and steps, and maybe it's very idealistic, but I feel like once I commit to you to be exclusive, where you can put me on your Facebook status, and I'm, you know, I'm, you could put a picture of me on your, and you better put a picture of me on your Why? Facebook. I don't care, especially Why? if you are hot to trot. I can need the people them to know. <laughs> However, you know what I mean? Where you change your status on Facebook, even though I would never. I'm going from single to married. I need you to understand. Oh, so you want to go into the what? relationship? It's the complicated. The first thing you're going to know on Facebook, ring. That's the first thing. <laughs> you're going to hear the last time you heard, the last time we saw Vera, she was on Glory 93.9 show talking about singleness. The next thing you know, ring. But my point is, before I get distracted, is when we get to the point where the world knows, everybody knows it's me and you, mm. Me and you have already decided we go in all the way. To marriage. Yeah. So until we've gotten to that point, gotten to that point of marriage, mm. there's no pictures. There's no posting. Yeah, no big talk. There's no, no I found uh, Bay. Uh, uh, the one no. the one I love for the rest of my life. Keep it. No, no, no. Bay not, for life. Not that. <laughs> no. Not that. And maybe I've FYI, been scarred. Maybe can we, I've been can we scarred. please stop that people? What? Posting Bay. Posting Bay after the first week. After the first month. Why are you getting in people's business? Because by next month it's a new one. That's my, that is my biggest issue. You post these pictures and tell these people how this is the one for I found. But they, what if they believed that? They believed like they had a conviction, a witness in, in their spirit. In your first two weeks? 
So you saying that there's time? You need What's time. the minimum? What's the minimum time? Because that's another problem. Because this is because you're like judge people. I have I have, a, I have a time that I that I that I see is like to me it's like the floor. What do you mean? Oh, that's like, the least amount. The least amount of time. For me, that is one year. One year of dating. Mm-hmm. Dating my definition or dating the other one. We go dating. Even we go dating yours. It okay. doesn't. But one year. Okay. Before I can, before I will feel any way to say post a picture to make you feel like this is something that is going into perpetuity or anything like that, I say at least a year. And my being is, you need to see a woman in twelve cycles. In twelve cycles. <laughs> This is my personal... Dalton wants to see a woman in 12 cycles, but you hear so cycles. many success... I mean, that's just your personal... That's my, my personal thing. My that's personal your, thing... Okay. Because I've realized that some people... is change. And that change can happen every month. You need so to... So 12 see. changes is enough to know? 12 changes is a good... You could, you could get a good sort of, to me, a good subset <laughs> of how somebody is, I think, in a year. Okay. Because you get to see the ups and the downs. In I'd like to hear from situations. our viewers. What's the time? What's your time frame? Because I've been made to feel, mm. especially as a, and only because society thinks they know everything. As a woman in her 30s, mm. you don't have time to waste. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so long. No, I said I've been made to feel. Okay. I'm going to do what I want to do. Okay. And for me, it's not a matter of time. It's about I know until I know in. So if if it's a year, if it's eighteen months, if it's two years, I could I could take my time. My my policy is I'm taking my time. I'm not going for the least amount of time. You know what I mean? Some people are like I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and know them in the least amount of time possible because time is running out. Mine is no no no. I'm going to take my time. Regardless. So if it's if at six months I have still a couple of questions, we could go another six months and I can figure it out. But what are people? Life got Jeff say life gotta happen, cuz. What that mean, Jeff? Three months, eh? Yeah, no, no. What I, do you I, say? I need to see. I need to see. I need to see some ups and downs in your life to know how you handle situations. To know how you handle when everything is going wrong or when something's going. And wrong. And you feel like a year is a good. I feel like a year is a a year. Yeah, if it's twenty twenty, I definitely see. All right, it's a backup. It's a backup for you. No. Yes. All right, okay. We're back up, guys. Sorry, um, I don't know what happened. Someone so, Delton, you're something. getting a lot of support. Taking time is the way to go. But are we going to pretend that you're not rushed as you get older? And I guess this is just a woman thing. That's society again, though. That's about the society. I true that. Um, but then you see it evident in though as people get older, the dating process takes is not as long. Yeah. And I don't, so in some cases, that, that ain't may work either. <laughs> Maybe that's that's maturity, and you know what you yeah, want. Yeah, because I, I, there's this whole idea of you know, like I get an old, I had no children yet, so I want to get married in by the time I'm reached this age here, and so since I'm married by this time, then the main thing have to speed up. I don't think I don't think that's worth it. I don't, I think you put your, you put yourself in danger when you do that because you still don't know this person. So now you all and don't know this person. That don't, that, that, that ain't no better. Got a comment here saying, but can you really know someone? This is another thing. Yes, that's another Different thing. circumstances <laughs> reveal differences in people. Because I'm sure, you know, the married persons on our um, stream online um, can testify that they got married and learned some new things about the other person. You will. But I, th- I think you definitely, in, in a year or oh, a yeah, year and change, you, def- you should know enough. You say you should. If both of you are being honest, you should know enough. If you've asked the right questions and be in place in the right situations, you should know enough to when you get married. The things that you learn when you get married shouldn't be so much of a shocker. And I think that this now needs a lot of topic of and like when you actually in dating, what do you get? What are you trying to know? And I was just gonna say we have five <laughs> minutes. What are the right questions? Uh, that's, that's the thing. What are the right questions? What are you? Because let me figure out what, what questions it, should we be asking. My first, I, I saw a meme the other day. It, it listed a bunch of deep things, and the last two: Can you kill a roach? Can you kill a set? <laughs> like, which insect are you Testify. afraid of? <laughs> I, like, need, I need to know what are you scared of, bruh? <laughs> like, if a if a rat runs past the house, are you going to jump on the chairs? Right. <laughs> like, if the rat run in the house, do I have to kill it? 
No, but then what are the right questions? Delton, you can tell us those online. Can there, tell us. there isn't any. I oh, got, gee. I can't say there are right questions. Um, I think there is. But as a married man, what would you have liked to know? Or what did you learn in dating that was helpful? Or when you got married, what did you wish you had asked? Let that? me say this. I, I would let me let me change the way it's, it's phrased. I believe, and this is this is what, this is what happens when you get take the time to know somebody. You see things about people without even asking. But a lot of times in dating, we ignore the things we see. Okay. And so when we say that when we got married, the person changed. But if you really look back in, in the time that you were actually dating and getting to know them, these kind of qualities were there present the whole time. When he, when he started counting pennies. When he started to count the pennies. <laughs> and now you mad because you want to get your head down. And you're like, no. And now you're like, ah! he changed? No, he never changed. That's, that was him. So then Agatha's advice was right then. But you have a different you have a Don't have of boys? a boyfriend. Have boyfriends. <laughs> Elite say you never. <laughs> I know. I saw that. That's powerful. I guess you don't uh, never learn about a person. You just learn to tolerate. Ouch. Oy. Marisha says, that's easy for you to say, Dalton, because you're a man and you have children until you're dead. For women <laughs> with a clock is different. So what's your, what are you saying, Marisha, that we should... So is there a, a minimum amount of time? Like, do we, ladies, do we have that standard? Do we have a, I'm not going, I'm not going to commit to something for a lifetime with less than this amount of knowledge or are we just going on a whim? Because my thing is, the reason I would put a date on it, regardless of what age and stage I'm at is, because these emotions, you can't trust them. Mm -hmm. These feelings, them, you can't trust them. And as you get older, and we don't like to say it, but you get more desperate, more eager. Let's not use desperate because it's not nice. Yeah, I know. More, you become more eager to get married. But it's desperate now. Uh -huh. You become more eager to get married you can trust your feelings less and less. And those are, that's, the, that's the point where you need to put a stamp on. If it's less than six months, I can't do it. If it's less than a year, I can't do it. That's, that's my motivation for sticking to having a period of time that I won't go any less than. Because I don't trust my feelings like that. Yeah. I, this conversation is, is one that can go on for a long yeah. time. Because especially when you, when you start looking at when you take into, when you look at what Marisha said, in terms of like having children topic because then it'll have to move then from being a carnal conversation then to a spiritual conversation because then if you just look at it strictly from a carnal standpoint then we answer that question based upon okay you should have children by this age here but then if you look at it from a spiritual standpoint and you a person that's saying that i trust god and i believe god for this is gonna work this is gonna work and then at the same time you have this little timeline in the back of your head that not necessarily line up with the timeline God has for you, then you you get you get some frustration, you get mad, and you make um, what's the word rash, rash ah, decisions, rash decisions, and so I think I think it's a uh, it's a uh, this then leads more into like a more spiritual conversation when you start talking about time limits, because then it's like these things these things that you have in the back of your mind as the time you want something to happen, it's not necessarily the time God has for you to have these things. And so it's like a delicate balance, a delicate situation that you have to juggle with to say that I want to be married by 35. However, my life is not my own. Is that is is that is that good advice for is do you want to hear that at this time? No, no one wants to hear that. Sounds great, but we don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. I mean, it's not that it, it's the, that's the reality. And again, my argument is as as women and as women of God. Mm. There are some things that we can do as much as praying and waiting on God and being patient. There are some things we can do to protect ourselves, especially as we get older mm. from making that commitment that isn't God's, that's not God's, it was never God's plan for you. You know, because at the end, who dictates? When we talk about the clock that is ticking on our, by our biological, biological clock, yeah. what dictates that? That's the world. The mm. natural world that dictates we have a clock that is ticking, which means by a certain age we can't have babies. But the reality is we serve an eternal God lives outside of time and space. So, you know, again, it's easier to say yeah, definitely. than it is it's, to, it's, to live out. But it is the truth. It, the, the truth doesn't change because it's easy or hard to accept. And for me, I protect myself by keeping that time. It can't be less than. Cannot be less than. Ooh. A year is ideal. Yeah. Absolute minimum, nine months. Nine months, I'd have to have been rocking with you. That didn't even sound right. 
nine months. I, I'm, 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 to be honest, I, I think for a female, I think you could you can get it nine months. It that's, seems unfair that we have to have a bit more faith in this than you guys, though. Yeah, I'm gonna put that out there for the women like myself <laughs> on the line. It, 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 it does un- feel unfair that women have to it's face unfair. it harder to hold out yeah. and to wait. Yeah, and y'all could just be sixty years old. In fact, I feel like having children. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there are some cases where people have, uh, yeah, all the people have, have children, yeah. all the females. I mean, we have we have a thousand topics that could branch off from this. But oh, holy! We need, to wrap up. we need to wrap up today. Yeah, so you know, we didn't even get a chance to talk on our second our second topic. If you look in the description, you will see it was fifty fifty, which we sort of like halfway got into and then went <laughs> fifty other places, and then it was stop cussing. Stop cussing is another one that is that is that is that is. Hmm. We've had many conversations about that off off mic. And <laughs> looking at these words that society as as um society as as banned us from using that's society, culture. Certain cultures. Christian culture. Certain Christian cultures. Right. Because I'm here that's sitting society, down. Say, say what you want. I'm here sitting down with a person that is not from the Bahamas that um <laughs> As she sips her tea, <laughs> who who has said some expressions that are very much frowned upon in the Bahamian Christian um, um, vocabulary. But I don't believe God is not pleased. Ah, so as you see, this is going to be a hot topic. And I saw someone just walking out of a while ago, and this person is almost of the same belief as Vera. Who that? As some bizarre. <laughs> And she is not. She's and she's not from another culture. She's actually a man. But for this, for her, this particular. See, I have an excuse. I don't know what she runs on. <laughs> this, My excuse is I from Rania. <laughs> so, so these expressions that we use as, as, as Christians, are they acceptable? You're Should to they open be this, used? You're to open no, box. I, I just give them a little teaser for uh, next, for, t- for t- next t- time. Yeah. Should we be saying these words? It's the questions that we're going to ask. What words are acceptable? I'm keeping my lip tightly what? sealed. Listen to me. <laughs> what words are acceptable? It's not me that's opening the can. Who is it that has said that these set of words we cannot say? Where is it that is found that says that like, these set of words here, God, he just, oh my God, God does not like them. I, I feel like we're exploring, <laughs> this generation of Christians is exploring why they told us don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do. And we, we don't, we're not saying it wrong, you know, but we want to know. And that's, I think if that's what we're going on, this conversation will end pretty fast. Princess says this pinky. <laughs> and if that's what we're going on, we're going to ask the question why this conversation will end pretty fast because there is no why. You think there's no why? I don't think there's why. I think there's a why. The why is... No, 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 don't open someone the say, don't say it before. Anyway, all right, that's The true. why is don't open the can. <laughs> anyway, folks, thank you all so much for tuning in. This has been another episode of That Good Morning Tea brought to you by Lip. No, it's not Lipton. Sorry, we don't have any sponsors. Yeah, if you want to yeah, sponsor, man. if you want to sponsor the show, feel free to call us at our sales office at six zero one five one two five. That's six zero one five one two five. So if you have a company that you want, um, you want to sponsor the show and get some commercials going on, we will gladly, gladly accept you for a a small fee. It's very, 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 very small fee, and we can get your show advertised right here. And that good morning tea coming to you. Every couple of days on Glory Night Three Point. <laughs> what what I can say is this, that Good Morning Tea has con, has faithfully come to you once a week for the last three weeks, and for that we we're doing good. We're doing, we're doing a great job. We're gonna we're gonna try to get some kind of normalcy to it. Yeah. Um, in May, once because um, like we said, Vera is a teacher by profession. And uh, once we get back into the school system, we can have to find a different way to probably bring it to you. Might have to be some pre recordings. Might have to move it to a later time probably. I don't know. We could do that Possibly. as well. So it won't be a morning tea. It might it might be an evening tea if we have time. Well, because you know, tea evening tea is something different about tea. <laughs> yeah, it is evening different. Tea. We're gonna get evening when tea. you have to make a cup of when tea. When you get that evening tea, we can need more disclaimers. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> If we go to evening tea, we, once the sun starts to go down, <laughs> we can need some more disclaimers. And so, um, but yeah, so keep it locked right here to Glory Night Three Point Nine FM. Y'all have a God filled day and definitely a glory filled day. Anything, any shout outs you want to give here? Want to send a shout out to Aggie? No, no, ain't. I can't listen. Ain't. I, I feel like Agatha. She she see the link on the thing, but she don't check it. <laughs> she don't check it. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but yeah, thank you for all that tuning. To in. all our listeners, to uh, Ailee, who's listening all the way yes. in South Florida, she's the MVP of um, today's um, Andy. Commentary. I think where's Andy? I think Andy's in New York. 
Ooh, Ex- exciting. Andy Smith. Um, Christy, I saw Christy Rigby. She commented earlier. Christy is in Tennessee, I believe. For all she our is. faithful comment- commenters. Hi, Nia. She, she our... just reached. Ooh, We're wrapping up. Her first time and she just reached. Good job, Peggy. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and, and to all of our to all of our persons that are commenting on Facebook, uh, thank you so much. If we didn't get to your comment. We apologize. Don't take it personal. We can do up. Uh, we can do better next time. Darren Roll. That was the first. That was a, that was a new person who I was not familiar with at the time, and he was commenting today. I don't know Darren Roll. You know Darren Roll? No, I don't. So, I, thank you so much, Darren, Darren. For Roll. I'll look to see the picture. See if I know who that is because we, we might know them. But thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, until next time, y'all be safe, man. Have a God filled day. And a glory filled day. Keep it locked. Right, I've cheer. Got, I've got my I've got my salutation. You have one now? Pip pip cheerio. No way. Mm, that one that, that that didn't go well. <laughs> so on that on that on that sour note. <laughs> 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 uh, on, on that sour note, we're going to leave. So it's only good when people mark me with it, but it's yeah. not good when I use it. Yeah, you can't no noted. As a British person, no, you can't use it. Duly that. noted. So anyway, good morning to y'all. <laughs> we got y'all be safe, man. Pep, pep, cheerio. Thank you, Auntie. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>